Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I need to teach you guys about the wireframe modifier. Now the wireframe modifier allows us to make wireframe images of our models quite easily and way faster than the old way. Just a few clicks. So the old way involved materials and crazy like wireframe materials and doing transparency and Z depth and stuff like that and Z offset it was very confusing and this way is much simpler because it's just a simple modifier that you can add so what you're gonna wanna do is duplicate your original mesh whatever you have I'm just gonna use the cube and give that duplicated mesh a wireframe modifier and when I duplicated it, I right-clicked on the 3D view, which snapped it right back into the original place that it was, so that it's right on top of my old model. So you can see here that it gave me the vertices and the um, edges of my cube, and it's already looking pretty good. Um, we're going to go into the material settings and add a, add a new material on our wireframe, and just make it a little darker just so we can see easily. Okay, now back in the modifier panel. Uh, you can see here we have options for thickness. You can make it really thick or very thin. We can offset it from the original mesh. You can give it even thickness, which is really helpful. And there are some other options, but we won't go into those. So, uh, if we were to just press F12 and render this right now, you can see here that we already have a nice simple wireframe of our model and it really was that easy you can have an animated mesh with um, you know armatures and all and it'll still work the same you just duplicate the mesh that's being animated and uh, you know you can put this wireframe model on it and it'll work the exact same so yeah, it's a pretty nifty and awesome modifier, so I just wanted to do a quick tip to show you guys that. Okay, so this is the modifier. My name is Ben Morgan. Thank you for watching.